Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to load medium format film into this Mamiya 645 Pro. This is my only medium format camera, but this method should work on pretty much all other medium format cameras. You're going to want to start by opening the back of your camera. To do this, use the second button closest to the back. Push in on the top and down on the bottom part and it should click open. Next you're going to want to take out the film spools. Use two fingers to pinch the middle of the spool apparatus and it should come right out. Give it a quick inspection and you should be good to go. The film we're using today is Velvia 100. Fujifilm makes this, but I don't think it's in production anymore. It's E6 slide film, which means it is very expensive to get developed. Next, spend way too much time trying to get the film open, but once you do, you should be good to go. Next, you're gonna to wanna to peel off this little flap of film. As you can see, I put this in the back of my camera so I can remember what stock I'm using. If you don't wanna do that though, you can just throw it out. There's these two little metal flaps. One of them says start, that's the top. Flip that one down. When you load your film, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the black side is facing out so that your film can be exposed to the light, not the other way around. There should be a little plastic uh, wheelie thing that your film will click into on both sides. Put your film into one and make sure it's nice and snug. You'll probably hear some kind of click. And then flip the metal flap back down. Give it a good shake to make sure everything's secured in place. And now you're ready to put it through the other spool. This part can be a little tricky, so don't be afraid to mess up and do it again. As you can see, the spool will only roll one way. It won't roll the other direction. You'll pull your film from the top around to the bottom spool. The bottom spool will have little slits in it that you stick your film into. Once you get your film through, give it a nice little tug to make sure it's all the way in. And then you can begin to roll the spool. As you roll, the film should tighten. If it's not, you probably need to start over. You want to keep rolling the film until the start on the little metal flap lines up with the start on the film. But let's say for a moment you accidentally rolled too far. Don't worry, just start over. Pull the bottom metal flap down and take out the bottom spool. Then you're going to want to roll the top spool backwards until you have enough room to start over. The bottom spool is going to want to roll with the top spool. Let it do that, but make sure you have enough slack to actually get it back in. Once your top spool is far enough back to start over, put the bottom spool back in and lock it in place. Then start rolling again. As you can see, you want to make sure that that big black arrow on the film lines up with the little red arrow on the metal slat. Make sure your film is more or less pretty smooth on the outside and everything is locked in place. Now you're ready to put the film back in the camera. Just take two fingers, put it back in the camera, and push until you hear a click. Close the back and you're almost ready to take some photos. The last thing we have to do is wind the film so it's ready for its first exposure. There will be a little window that shows what photo you're on. It should be on an S right now. Keep spinning the film until this S changes to a 1 and you hear a click. Once you get to 1, it should lock in place and you shouldn't be able to spin it in either direction. And now you really are ready to take some photos. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.